Is it possible for a pillow to help with dry eyes? Hey, howdy everybody. I feel like I'm constantly on the search for looking for either new techniques, treatments, or home remedies to help people with their dry eyes. And recently the people at Sleep and Glow emailed me asking if I wanted to try their pillow. Now, to be honest, I pretty much ignored the email at first because it doesn't really line up with this channel, but as I got looking into it, their design of the pillow made me wonder if it could potentially help people with dry eyes. Now their pillows are mainly designed and marketed for those people that want to reduce contact of their skin to the pillow, mainly around the eyes and the eyelid to reduce wrinkles, reduce puffiness, and to help with overall sleep posture. So I actually emailed them back asking them if they think the pillow would help with dry eyes, and they were completely honest, saying that there's not really any research that has been done to show that it could, but they said if I wanted to test it out, then it might be worth a shot. So this video is a pure test experiment of mine to see if it would help with the dry eye treatments at night. This video is not sponsored by them at all, and so let's get into it. So they actually sent out two of their different design pillows that I could test out, and I've been testing them out for a couple weeks, and here's what I found. Now before we get into it, this potentially can help those people with eye dryness, specifically at nighttime, whether they're sleeping or if they wake up with dry eyes. And this can be caused for multiple different reasons. One can be something called lag up thalmos, where you kind of lose the eye's ability to close and shut all the way, either from a muscle or a nerve issue. And then specifically at night, people can have what's called nocturnal lag up thalmos, where they go to sleep and their eyelids don't close all the way, which leaves their tear film to evaporate and leaves the surface of the eye just exposed to the air, which can cause severe dryness. Another possibility is something called floppy eyelid syndrome, where people lose their elastin that's in their eyelid, so their eyelid gets really floppy, really loose, and so sometimes when they go to bed and they're laying on their side, the pillow might pull up their eyelid, even to the point where it might flip the eyelid up inside out, and the inner part of the eyelid is actually rubbing on the pillow, or the actual eyeball is touching the pillow, and as you can imagine, can definitely cause severe dryness that way as well. And one more common issue that might affect more people is that they just don't have an adequate eyelid seal, meaning their eyelids don't seal completely. And you can kind of think of this as an overbite, a mouth overbite where your teeth kind of come out a little bit and it leaves a gap there. The eyelids can possibly do the same thing where the eyelid won't seal completely with the bottom eyelid but will have almost an overbite, leaving that gap there that can cause your eye to dry out. And there are many other causes and issues that are related to all that that I plan on going more in depth in another video. Now, like I said, all this can lead to severe dryness or something called exposure keratopathy, where you can actually get these dry patches right on the bottom third of the eye. And we actually see this in clinic all the time. And sometimes that's a dead giveaway if you might be sleeping with your eyes slightly open or have a little gap there that's drying the bottom portion of the eye out. And the main treatments that a lot of doctors have been recommending usually involve eye drops, gel, or ointments that you can put in right before you go to bed to kind of give you an extra layer of protection on that eye to keep it from drying out. And then there's actually types of eyelid tape where you can actually tape the eyelid down to create that adequate seal. There's actually a product called Sleep Tight, Sleep Right that I actually did a full video review on that you can check out. I'll put it in the description, but I actually liked that and I think it did work really well. Or there's the home remedy hack that you can use the Glad Press and Seal. You can actually put it right on your eyelid, same principle, create that adequate seal. It can be kind of irritating to the eyelid skin. It really sticks on there. I've tried it. I didn't really like it, but it can work. And these are all things that I've tried myself with varying success. They're kind of frustrating to use though. The drops and gels can help, but I feel like almost doesn't give enough protection or doesn't last as long. Sometimes I'll still wake up with dry eyes or a lot of my patients will as well. And the moisture chamber goggles can work, but if you're like me and you're a side sleeper, then you're a stomach sleeper, back sleeper, and you're constantly moving around, the moisture chamber goggles just could never stay on as much as I wanted it to. Sometimes I'd wake up and the goggles would be completely off or shifted or be leaving an indent or a mark and be uncomfortable. And so I've never really liked moisture chamber goggles. They can help 
when they do work if I just don't move all night. And the eyelid tape can actually work as well. It actually worked for me really well, but there were definitely nights where it, when I shifted, it has a little tab on there that you can use to peel the tape off, but sometimes that would move or shift or sometimes it would come undone just because I was moving around and that pillow was taking the, the tape off and so it can work. It just is frustrating. It's just frustrating to do treatments at night. Now this is the design that I actually tried first. This is their Omnia pillow. I usually tend to fall asleep on my side but as you can see here there's a little cutout. It's on this side and the other side but it allows you to kind of lay down without creating contact from the pillow to your skin around the eye. So there's not any pulling on the eyelid or the skin around the eyelid. And, and so it actually helps quite a bit. Now I will say there was definitely some getting used to sleeping on this pillow. I have a nice purple pillow that I tend to sleep with and I love it. And so when I was testing this out, I uh, didn't like it at first just because I was used to my purple pillow. But once I got into it and got used to it and sleeping on my side with it, I um, actually liked it. So I tried all those treatments. I tried moisture chamber goggles, uh, worked way better with his pillow, uh, especially if I fell asleep on my side like that. I found that there were a lot more mornings where the moisture chamber goggles were actually still in place. Now there were some uh, nights that it's still, because I tend to move around and sometimes I'd sink into it, that I would still kind of move the moisture chamber goggles, but it was way better, way better than a normal pillow for sure. And that goes the same for the sleep tight, sleep right eyelid tape. I tried that as well. Same thing, worked way better with this pillow. Now they actually sent me another pillow to promote sleeping on your back. And this is actually the one that I thought worked even better. Now, like I said, a lot of times I am a back sleeper, side sleeper, stomach sleeper, I switch, but this kind of helped keep me on my back. I don't know how it did it, but maybe my head was going to turn and so just kind of keep the rest of my body from turning over. I don't know. But this one I actually found the most success with using the dry eye treatments, but specifically the moisture chamber goggles, um, because this kind of blocked my head from going side to side. Definitely had a better success there, but also better success with the eyelid tape as well. And so if you're looking into this, this might be one to get, the one that actually you sleep on the, your back with. Now these pillows are considered a premium pillow with a premium device. So just keep that in mind if you wanna look into them, but they definitely have high reviews. A lot of doctors recommend them, orthopedic surgeons recommend them. Dr. Dre here on YouTube, the dermatologist actually recommends them. And so they really are well designed if you're looking into it. So for me, I actually think that these pillows actually could be beneficial. They could make dry eye treatments more efficient. Now where would I rank them as far as a need for a dry eye treatment or a dry eye help? Well if you're someone that wants to look into a pillow maybe to reduce wrinkles, reduce puffiness and swelling around the eyelids, maybe promote back sleeping or that sleep posture and you have dry eyes specifically at night or when you wake up in the morning, then I would definitely look into this pillow because it could make the dry eye treatments more efficient. I hope that this helps. Let me know if it did. Stay focused.